Hello, crafty friends and fellow stampers. This is Maria Robinson, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up here in the United States. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Stamping Simply with Maria. Today is Tuesday, November 24th, 2021. Welcome all. For today, I will be showing you a cool technique, which I'm calling the masking technique. I was inspired to use this technique with a, with a, um, from the annual catalog, and I'll show you that in just a minute when we turn the camera down. Um, what you're seeing right now is a special promotion that Stamping Up is running through the end of the month, November 30th. When you join the Crafty Creators, you pay only $75 for the starter kit, which is usually $99. And guess what? You get to choose $125 worth of products of your choice. You get free shipping. You just need to pay the local taxes. All right, let's get started now. As I said, I was inspired with this technique from the annual catalog. And it's right here. And you can find that on page 26 of the annual catalog. And we'll be using the stamp set called Sweet Little Stockings. And also the die cuts, which are called stockings dies. And those can be found in the mini catalog, which is good from July through December 2021. And that is on page 31, I believe. Yes, page 30 to 31. It's this sweet. And it includes, when you purchase the suite, it includes the stamp set, the dies, um, the felt, matte decorative dots, uh, the pool party striped grow grain ribbon, and the sweet stockings designer series paper. For this project, as I said, we'll be using the stamps, the dies, and the jolly felt. So let's get started. Get some, get some white paper here. Basic white first we'll start with. And I'm just gonna leave this as a big piece right now and then I'll cut it down to the size I need for the card. We'll be using Cherry Cobbler ink. And I've got my Stampin' Blends here, one for each color that I'll be using, Old Olive, and Bumblebee. Now, I think I seem to have forgotten, oh, I got it right here. My, I wanna put this under my paper so I don't get it on my desk. Actually, you know what? I'm going to cut this down. I'm going to use the whole piece. So I'm going to cut it down to five and a quarter by four inches. Let's do the four inches first. Using my stamp and trimmer. And five and a quarter. We're gonna cut that down a little more once I put it on the card. I'll put that aside. All right, there we go. Now that's better. Okay, so first I'm going to start with the, um, oh, oh, forgot the most important part. So to get that tearing technique, what I used to do is I would take a piece of paper, tear it, Stick it down with um, 
this repositionable tape, this is not something Stamping Up sells. It's something that I've had in my supplies. So I would put it down with this, but then it would leave this sticky residue on the on the on your project. So I would take my um, this eraser, and it's great. I mean, I I do use this a lot actually, but you take off, you know, you rub it down where the sticky parts are, and it comes right off. But I saw this um, somebody used it online, and I don't remember who it was. I got so much stuff on my desk. Um, she used this removable ID label from Avery. I purchased it on Amazon. Um, you can also get it uh, at Staples, I believe. And it's item number 6465. Again, it's Avery and it's called removable ID labels and they come in sheets of eight and a half by 11. So you can cut them down to whatever size you need. For this, we'll cut it down the same as I cut the paper down. I'll do four inches by five and a quarter. Um, should I go this way? No, let's do it this way. I'm gonna do it this way so I have can use the other half. Well, let's do, since this is eight and a half, well, let me measure it. Yeah, so this is eight and a half inches, so we'll cut it down four and a quarter inches. And this doesn't have to be exact. I'm just trying to save paper. Four and a quarter by five and a half, I'm gonna do. And this we're just using as the mask. So. Some sticky stuff on it. There we go. All right. So what you do is you're going to take the piece of paper that you just cut, the remo removable ID label, and you're going to tear it. Yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. Be a little messy with it. But what you want to do is you want to get this nice tear edge to it and this will act as the mask on our paper there you go and you just peel the backing off i guess i ripped a little bit of it we'll just pull that right off that piece right Put that down on our on our paper just you know line it up with the bottom edge so because it's removable if I mess up you can move it around like that. I think I put that up too high though so I want to move this down some more do the other side. I think I might have cut it just a little too big. So I might want to move this again. I feel like I don't have enough. Yeah, that's way too much. Yeah. See how easy it is to move over, to move off though? Wonderful. I love this paper. I don't, never never had heard about it before until I saw somebody posted a video about it using this technique and I was like, wow, where has that been all my life? All right, let's get this scrap out of the way. So first I'm going to start with my cherry cobbler. Press that down and we'll just take a little on our brush here. And you want to start off the paper first and then bring it in and just start blending. You know, we're going to be mixing colors. 
So just blend away. Add more if you like to get a little deeper. Again, starting off the paper, bringing it in like so. I'll put some on the other side here. And over here maybe. All the way down here. And you can always go back and add more. Then we'll use the green, the old olive. And tap, tap, tap. Take it off a little because you don't want to get a blob. And then bring it in. Add a little more. And the other nice thing about this removable label is that you can actually reuse these um, again on a project. So they'll last a long, long time. Bring some up here. And I get that nice edge here, a little darker on the edges. I'll just throw this one out and let it go. Maybe put a little more on the edge over here and down here. And then we'll finish that off with the bumblebee. Again, getting some on the brush, tapping it off, and coming in. Now I know this looks like, you know, nothing really right now, but wait till you see when it's taken off how cool it looks. I'll put some more on this, so we'll put some on this side here. And there's no right or wrong how to do this. It's, you know, whatever looks good to you. So I'm going to leave that there. Now I will bring the stamps in and we're going to create a little background with these. So first I will use the candy cane. And I'm going to use the cherry cobbler for this. just you know you can stamp a little off and that's why you want to leave the mask on here maybe I'll go in over here turn this around so I'll put another one on the end here and maybe we'll add another one down here so, okay. Paint off my stamp with my simple chamois. I know this looks kind of nasty, but it does not transfer off onto the stamp. It just cleans them very nicely. All right, next we'll bring in a leaf. And I'm just going to use cherry cobbler for all of these. One stamp there, stamp here. Turn this one around. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's turn it around. Oh, I didn't do that so good. There. Another one here. I'll do another one on the edge here. We're going to go the other way. Like so. Clean that off. The simple chamois, you just need to add water to it, and that's it. Nothing else. And then we'll do the other, I think this is more like a feather. I was thinking it was a leaf, but it looks more like a feather. So we'll put a few of these on. These. 
basically you're making your own designer series paper like this. But wait till you see the magic. That's where it's really cool, I think. Yeah, I'm going to do one down here. All right, there we go. And lastly, we will use the stars. Just fill in with the stars. So, so, and like so. Get some on the other side here. We'll go off the paper a little. Bring some here. Let's see if I can stick some in here. It's all right if they overlap. I think I need one more down here, like so. All right, I think that's good. All right, that's good. I'm going to close up these stamp pads because I don't think I need them anymore. Well, I will need them for the sentiment, but for now, we're just going to close them up so I don't stick my fingers in it. So, all right, now we'll do the magic. Just peel these right off. Gently, you don't want to pull quickly because you might rip it and then you'll have pieces left. So I'm going to go the other way because I did rip the removable paper earlier when I was taking the backing off. That's it. And then like I said, you could reuse this. I probably won't because I think I wrinkled up all the, uh, I don't know, maybe I will. I don't know. We'll see. You don't need to see me doing that part. All right, now we'll take the other side off. Again, being very gentle, just lift slowly, slowly, just peeling back towards you. Nice and easy. Don't rip right, you know, quickly. That's it. Is that not cool? I mean, I don't know. There's just something about this. It just looks amazing to me. And it's so simple. So that is that part of it. Um, and to finish this off, then what we're going to do is I'm going to bring in the cute little dog. I'm going to stamp him. Where's the stamp set? Put that back up again. So this little doggy here we're going to use, and we'll also be using the stocking, but I'm not gonna use the stamp for the stocking and the hat, I'm going to die cut it. That's what I'll be die cutting out of the felt. And I'll show you that in a minute, but let me show you the dies. These are the dies. You have the dog right here, the stocking that I'm going to use, and then the hat. And there's all these different shapes and stuff in here. You've got a tag, you've got, um, I'm not sure if this is a hedgehog or what kind of animal that is. He kind of looks like a beaver to me. I don't know, what do you think? Beaver? <laughs> we'll go with beaver. And then you got a pussy cat. Like I said, you have some stocking dies. And you can assemble the stocking dies. There's like a heel part here for both stockings. You've got the top part here. You've got a few tags, presents. Really nice. Very, very um, cute. So that's that. And that's called the stockings dies. And it coordinates with the sweet little stocking stamp set. All right, so stamp, stamp, okay. For this, we're going to use the stays on ink because I'm going to be using the watercolor pencils to color in the dog. So first I'm going to stamp nicely, good image here, like so. And remember with stays on, 
because it's a permanent ink, it will stain your stamps. So you need to clean it right away and you need to use the stays on cleaner to clean it right away. So I like to use the Stampin' Scrub here. This is very old. I think Stampin' Up still sells that though. They might have upgraded it. And you just wanna spray a little bit on the dog here. Scrub. On the wet side. And then just dry them off on the other side. Was nice and clean. Make sure there's no more residue. Yep, he's good. All right, so that's it for that. We'll put this aside. Don't need that anymore. So as I said, I'm going to bring my watercolor pencils in, and we'll be using Cajun Craze and Crushed Curry for this. And. So I'm gonna do the highlight parts with the Cajun Craze. And what I like to do is I just come in, you know, follow the lines of his hair. And just, nothing too crazy, just a little bit. Yeah. A little there, a little here. Go around his eyes a little here. A little bit on the other side. Go around his nose. Just a little. His mouth and his paws. Just a little. So, all right. Then I'm going to bring in the crushed curry. And... We'll do a little filling in here. Again, you don't have to completely color, you know, just a little bit because the blender pen will do all the work for you. And I'm just using basic white. It's not a special tea paper of any kind. I believe um, you could use watercolor paper with this, which would work. When you are using basic white, just regular cardstock, you want to be careful not to get it too wet because it will start to pill and leave, um, you know, little pieces behind. It'll start basically tearing the paper. So basically, I'm going to do the light color first, the crushed curry. I'll do that here. And I'm, I'm using a very light touch here. First, I'm doing the crushed curry. And then I'll go in and do the same thing with the Cajun craze. I'm happy with that then we'll and you can always come back in and add extra color or you know blend it a little bit more whatever you like and I like to just wipe it on my hand make sure that it's clean so it's clean and now we'll go in and do the same thing with the crushed curry just blending the colors together you know making it look a little more realistic so Down here by his mouth. His paws. And do the other eye. This stamp set and die is such a cute set. It's so versatile. It has um, a few sentiments for Christmas, but honestly, you don't have to use this for Christmas. Like these dogs would be so adorable on a 
birthday card as well. Um, very cheerful. Like so. And you just want to blend out the colors. You don't want to leave harsh pencil marks. Like so. All right, when you're happy, just wipe the brush, hand, and put the cap back on. And that's it. So I've already gone ahead and die cut this. I've got the little doggy all cut out for you. Um, Okay, let's try that again. I'm so sorry about that. I uh, My phone got overheated, which has never happened before. So, not sure. Maybe I need a new one. I have to ask for, uh, I'll have to ask Santa Claus for a new phone. <laughs> anyway, so, as I said, I am, um, I finished coloring with the watercolor pencils and then blended it out with the blender pen. And I will not show you how I die cut this because I'm downstairs in my basement, not my basement, my dining room. So I had to bring everything down there and I didn't feel like dragging the uh, uh, big shot down here for that. So I have that all die cut for you already. Cute little doggy. And the other thing I die cut as well was the stocking from the felt paper. Well, it's actually not paper, it's just felt. So I used the red, and let me show you what I did with the green one. There's like a little piece. I did cut the hat. I'm not sure that landed right now. It's probably stuck under something. I'll find it later. But I did cut the hat from the green so let's put that aside and this is what I did because you can't stamp on the felt I felt it was kind of uh, bland with just the red the uh, cherry cobbler so I decided to cut strips of the green felt the old olive felt and I adhered it on here with glue with the um, we call this green glue at Stampin' Up And then you let that dry for about 20 minutes or so, so it adheres nicely. So that is that. And where is my hat? Oh, I'm so upset now. I'm not sure where the little hat went. Okay, anyway, we have here the, we're going to use basic white for the card base. And that's cut at five and a half. I'm sorry. Yes, five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter and we're going to put a piece of glue on here fold that in half i already used my scoreboard to do that and i don't have my bone folder down here so i'm going to crease it with this blending brush here just so it gets a nice crease I have a piece of cherry cobbler, which is cut at five and three eighths by four and one eighth. So we'll adhere that to the card base, as I said, with the glue here. Actually, instead of keeping this here, let's put bring my adhesive. Um, I don't remember what that's called now. But this mat is really nice because you can get glue on it and it doesn't transfer to anything. So I like that. Put a little glue on here. And then we'll adhere this to the card base. Just want to center it. Oh shoot, did I? Oh, look at that. I thought I cut this down to the right size. I wonder if my card base is not card anyway we'll fix that later I don't want you to watch me fixing that now somehow I 
sure how I did that. Hmm. Let's see if I could stick this in the paper trimmer and trim it off. Oh, I found my hat. <laughs> it was on my paper trimmer. Now yeah, let's try to trim a little bit off on that here. This will be beautiful. We're gonna try. Oh, you know what? This is gonna get bent a little. Right there, maybe. Oh, I don't think that is going to work. All right, well, I'll use. I'll cut that later. I'm not gonna worry about it now. Sorry about that. I'm not sure how I did that. So anyway, this is probably bigger than four and an eighth this way. I'll have the dimensions in the description though, and they'll be correct over there. And let's see this. I need to cut this down also a little bit. Trim a little bit off on each side. Four inches, so we're gonna go down, just trim a little off here, about an eighth of an inch. Maybe not even, maybe it's 116. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So this is cut at three and three quarters. Measure this side. I think sideways it's fine. For some reason, the height of it was too big. Yeah, so that's good. All right. So, like I said, I'll have the measurements on the in the description. We'll put this down. So, I'm going to put a little glue on the stocking, and I'm going to be generous with that because I want it to stick. Now, this is going to take, like I said, it took that um, the stripes about 20 minutes to stick, so I'm going to place it down here. Hopefully it'll stay there for now. So, and I'm going to put a dimensional on the back of my dog. I will put a couple of dimensionals. And I want him hanging off the stocking. So his paws are hanging off the stocking. Like that. Oh my gosh, isn't that cute? I love it. Oh, that's so sweet. All right, so let's put the, I'm actually going, I know I didn't say I was going to use these matte decorative dots that coordinate with the sweep, but I think I am. I think the hat needs a little something. And I think we'll use the old olive. We're gonna put that on, no, I'm sorry, I'll use, um, hmm. I think I'll use the cherry cobbler. I think that'll make a nice contrast. Pull these out. Oops, I just grabbed a few dots. So I had to open my window in the dining room, so now I'm freezing just to keep my phone cooled down so it doesn't happen again where somehow I lost it. Not sure how that happened, but it did. Goodness gracious. You know, I love it when they stick to your fingers. All right, let's try that again. There we go. So I'm going to use, I think the big one here will be nice on the hat. 
and put it right there and these have adhesive on the back so it's really nice they'll stick right on that I add a little bit of glue to the bottom here and put that on the dog's head then we just need to add a greeting and the card will be done Oh my gosh, isn't that adorable? Look at, he's so cute. <laughs> I love it. Love, love, love. All right, for the greeting, I am going to put sending lots of love. I think that's appropriate. I'll put that right down here. We'll do it in Old Olive. Since I'm in my dining room, my dog is vying for my attention, so I apologize if I'm paying attention to her. <laughs> Use two of these because I didn't bring a longer block down. Let's see how that works. Sometimes you got to improvise, right? Well, I don't know. I think if I just use the one and center it, I think it should be fine. Yeah, no, we'll be fine. I'm not going to use two. Where's my... I am going to practice, though, on the paper here, just to make sure that it does come out even. See that it's not very even. And we'll do that in Old Olive. And then, like I said, the card will be done. That looks good. It does. One time. Perfect. Okay. I think we are ready to put that on the card. And the card will be done. I'll put that right down here. Awesome, look at that. Right, let's close this up so I don't stick the card or my fingers in there. Clean that off. And that's it. Adorable, isn't it? I think it came out really sweet, and I really like this masking technique. It's so easy to do. So I hope you give that a try. Again, this is Maria Robinson, Stamping Simply with Maria. I uh, bid you a happy Thanksgiving. It's this Thursday, a couple of days away. And once again, I know I keep saying this, but until November 30th, when you join the Crafty Creators, you pay $75 for the starter kit with Stamping Up. It's usually $99, and you get to pick $125 worth of products of your choice and you also get free shipping you just need to pay taxes all right guys i hope you had fun watching my video i hope you give this a try please um, remember to subscribe to my channel stamping simply with maria and hit that bell icon so that you're notified every time i upload a video